YouTube, Matt M. Roy back again. Well, you're probably seeing yourself right now, Matt, what am I looking at? Well, what normally goes here is something that I've been meaning to a video on, and it's right over here. All right, so I've been getting a lot of questions from people on YouTube about this clock. Uh, they've, it's been featured in several of my videos, but I've never really talked about it before. And as many questions as I've, as I've gotten about it, I figured it warranted its own special video. So basically what this is, is a Skyscan atomic clock. Now, for you guys that don't know what an atomic clock is, basically this syncs up to uh, three of the government satellites. Uh, one is in Greenwich. Uh, I think there may be one in Colorado, and there's others across the world. And basically sets itself. So this clock is always set to the correct time. Uh, basically, I believe it does it every 48 hours, this particular clock. It, go ahead, it goes and sends a signal out, and it's a satellite signal, and it resyncs to make sure the clock is set properly. Now, as you can see, not only is this an analog or a quartz clock, but it also has a digital clock built in the middle. Uh, now, you can have this set to tell you just the time of day, and you can see right there it says the time of day. Uh, this right here says that we are getting a good signal. Um, this is uh, for showing what time zone we're in. In my case, we are in the eastern time zone. Uh, this this even tells you how uh, what moon you have at night. So tonight, I guess we're expecting a half a moon. As you can see, today is Wednesday. And that's about it for the front display. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. You can see this is in that, uh, they, I believe they call this gunmetal gray. It's actually very similar in color to my walls. That's, that's why I kind of decided to paint my room this color. I was kind of trying to match the clock here. Now if you look on top, it shows you how to set the different time zones. Like we have Pacific time zone, Mountain time zone, Central, and then of course uh, Eastern. So this is basically just made for the United States and Canada, basically North America. You wouldn't take this over to uh, Europe or any other country because it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to set it properly. Uh, you can see it says for customer inquiries, this is model number 27010. And you guys can pause the video and read that if you're interested in ordering one of these. Now, I looked online. This particular model did not get very good reviews, which I'm, I'm very surprised because I haven't hardly had any problems with this at all. Sometimes when I change the battery, I do have to uh, pull it out one time and put it back in because it doesn't set the exact right time. So, But being over where it is, it probably has a hard time getting the signal once in a while. But other than that, I really don't have any complaints about it. Uh, down here you have your daylight savings time. In this case, um, I have as I was stating before, this is for setting your time zone. So we have Eastern, Central, Mountain, and specific or Pacific time. <laughs> I got a little tongue tied there. So I'm gonna put it back to Eastern. Now you can tell already since I switched that it's changing over to the different time zones. So this is just gonna go all the way around until it. Uh, catches the signal again and will reset for the eastern time zone. Now, another nice feature about this, uh, there's two buttons here. This one is to set the actual um, signal. So if for some reason it's not uh, setting itself properly, you can push this button and it will force another time check. However, this button is neat because this is the mode button. If I push this again, It'll actually switch between the time and the date. Now, I don't know if it's going to do it while it's setting, but we can go ahead and give it a try. Yeah. It's not going to do it when it's setting, but basically what happens is if it's set properly and you push that button, it'll, do, it'll, be, it'll show you the digital time for about 10 seconds, then it'll switch over and show you the date for another 10 seconds and so on and so forth. But would I recommend one of these? Definitely. Uh, you know, it's it, it's not that I'm lazy that I can't set a clock, but it's just really nice to know that you have a clock that is always going to be set to the proper time. Now you can buy uh, more advanced models of this. They have uh, Skyscan clocks that will also tell you the indoor-outdoor temperature, 
uh, I'll have bar barometer. Uh, it, I, heck, I've even seen ones that'll uh, tell you the exact humidity to the letter. So, you know, it, it, it's up to you which kind you think you're going to need. But for my needs here, this suits it just fine. I've actually had this clock for about six years now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody. Yeah.